LFD. We're walking the docks right now. Good morning, everybody. We're looking for uh, looking for a ship. Today we are going to do something that we haven't done in, gosh, around 30 years together, and that's go on a charter trip where they just drop you uh, at a reef and you go catch some reef fish. And you give her a straight dangle. And today's video is brought to you by the good folks at Pump Gas Catch Bass. It's one of our popular uh, popular sellers right here. GuggenSquad.com. Use that promo code LFG. We got a, the new hat and shirt. And let me tell you something. Out of all the hats we've made, this one fits my head the best. Small dome. I have a small head. Okay? It's just it's a personal problem. If you've never been on a party boat before, done some fishing, it's a little different. It's gonna be packed. So, I'm gonna show you what it's like. Let's go. That would be a really cool boat to go out on. So that's not the one we're going on today. Good morning, All guys. aboard the Swoop 2. Yeah, how about you? Come on on. If you get a hand, Dude. let me know. Good morning. There's a fish killer. Fish killers, look at them squids. Get us a spot here. All right, we're gonna claim a pole. Yeah, them poles have been used a time or two. Oh my, I like it though, I like it. Character. Let me come around, taking the fish off for you. If it's keeper, it goes in your basket. If it's not, it goes back over the side to grow up. Mate's gonna give you a fishing school on the ride out. We'll teach you about tackle, rods and reels, how we work the boat. Y'all need to listen to these guys, they do this every single day. I get out there fast, go. The rock jetties up here, I'll be picking up speed. Anytime I'm at speed today, I'm gonna lead you off the front railing. If I hit something going 20 mile an hour, and you flip over the front, there's nothing I can do to stop from bringing you over. But other than okay. that, good luck, good fishing. There's no turning Let's back now. Front. We're leaving the harbor. It's gonna be like a two hour ride out to the depths. And if you get seasick, they ain't going back for you. Just lay on the side. So hang on, we're gonna see if we can get hooked up on some, something to put into the skillet tonight. It's a race, a race to the snappers. Coming out of the harbor right now. Woo, woo doggy. Get your hooks baited. The more times the bait, the hook, the longer you Take your squid, circle hook, don't jerk it. Don't jerk that hook. All right, try not to get a hook in your hand. Yes, sir. Or your body. I'll try not to, but if I, if I am, I can live with it. Pain. <laughs> now hit the bottom, come about 10 turns off of it. Okay. That's 10 rotations on the handle. Way down there fishing, you want to hold those rods up off the reel, watch your rods hit so you can do these fish bites. Hit the bottom, come up 10, shouldn't take you any longer than about a, say about a minute. If you don't have a fish, you really don't have chicken bait. Here we go. Let's see if there's anything down here. Set 10 cranks off the bottom. Let me know if y'all have any questions, guys. You on bottom? Yep. There you go. Here's the right hook, John. Man, I already got one. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> Where are you at, Dad? Are you catching them? I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> not holding my mouth. <laughs> as soon as I got to the bottom. Dang, dude, that's pretty quick, huh? Yeah, I was instant. Probably not sure, man. Definitely got to get the pole to it. Yeah, it does. Bad gum, man. <laughs> you got dinner? I got me a big old trigger. Oh, big trigger. Hold on. Big trigger. There you go, raise it up. Bring it up, guys. Bring it up. Hold on, hold on. Look at that puppy. 
Yes, sir. Thank you, Max. Look at that sucker, man. That's dinner right there. Yeah, for sure. Couple nice triggers, Cap. Oh, yeah. That's my PB trigger fish right there. Threw mine back. Too small. Get up your game. Oh, like I was saying, these trigger fish are extremely fast. They're good at taking bait. You got to lay on the rail, you'll never feel them bite. Uh, Hold them up. Wait for your tap. You see those taps. Start reeling and take you. Them. I got one that time. There we go. There he goes. I just slowly kind of reeled it. It's an art form. <laughs> okay. But <laughs> you're painting with it. Uh, you're, you're, yeah. <laughs> I bet I'm clean. A little bit of a workout. There he is. That's a good one. Oh, there you go, Bria. Bria. Oh, he might be good. You ever caught one, right? Yep, I did. The yeah. first one. It's one front part. Trying to make up for my dad oh, here. Hey, yeah. Well, I had to catch your limit for you, Dad. I'm well, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> you know, at least I don't have to work hard at it, right? I could just be with LFG. Climb up. Trigger fish are winning. Those of you that have fish in your basket, take them back. Guys, get them eyes. We play on you. Well, bam, snapper's coming in. Snapper's coming in. That was his. I think something snaps me right away. There we go. There we go. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, we got a fighter. There we go. That's a good vermilion. Come on, baby. You can keep 10 of these vermilion snaps. Now, typically, the higher you come up off the bottom, the better size your mingos are. You're catching smaller mingos and little rubies, the little brown ones. You're too close. 15, 20 turns up. I wouldn't go no higher than 20, but right through there should get you some nice fish. Right. Let's catch him. Bam. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna let it go to the bottom. We gotta be quick. Quick on the stick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, twelve. Twelve pumps. Oh, there he is. There he is. And we got him. Yep, that one feels nice. Oh man, he's pulling. Oh, he come off. Oh no. Something got something got him. Something snippy? Yeah. I think a dolphin got him. All the way to the bottom. There we go. We're hooked up. We're hooked up. Oh gosh, it feels big. Oh yeah, I gotta get, it, get him up before the dolphins get him. Come on, big buddy. Come on, big buddy. I wanna know what you are. There he is. Big head. Got Captain Devin here, he's gonna park it just right. Finesse. on the thrusters. All right, y'all. We are back with an absolute load of fish. Now get at us, yo. Look at that. Look at these dang fish, yo. Look at that. Our captain, Devin, 
He's only 22 years old and he's a fishing freak. Not just those um, bottom charters, but all sorts of fishing and tournament fishing and everything. I love to see young guys getting into the industry like that. So there was the, uh, the Swope 2. If you come down to Destin, Florida, they're always fun. And for, for a kid, if you could stay out there all day long, it is, it is a lot of fun. Right. Let's see if I can get one of these trigger fish off of here and show you guys. I think you can keep uh, 10 vermilions a person. And then uh, it was just one trigger fish per person, but we got some whoppers. There's a couple of pretty good sized vermilions in there, but most of them are fairly small. All right, I just want to go ahead and start with one of these trigger fish because I've never cleaned one. There's another name for these. I think it's like a leather or something. They have a really hard skin. So this might be a little different than what I'm used to. Okay, yeah, that's, that's really tough. And today we're gonna to be using the old timers. I've got a, uh, like a semi-stiff little fillet knife. I usually like to use two knives when I'm, when I'm cleaning fish. One for doing any of the tough stuff, the other one for just straight filleting. Okay, all right. Let's see how tough these pin bones are. Definitely tougher than a little bass, I can tell you that. There we go. I think we did pretty good. That's a, that's a beautiful piece of meat. Look at these teeth. I gotta, I gotta show, show Amy this when she gets back from the beach too. Look at that. Oh, nom, 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 nom. It's like a rabbit, rabbit's teeth. I got a, there's a weird bone by the head. I haven't really figured out. Okay, the old leather fish, not too bad. It is crazy feeling their skin too. It, it feels like a football. It feels like I'm holding a football, but there's actually a lot of meat on those guys. And now we'll just take our, our big fillet knife that's flexible little trick if you happen to have a, uh, a cold brew nearby bottle cap I'm gonna put this on the end of the uh, fillet I'm gonna press that down that's gonna give me some grip where usually I'm gonna have to use my thumbnail and it's, it's pretty tough and then once I get it going then I can grab and then I'm just gonna pull Lay and keep my knife at an angle and this sucker is tough oh there we go i cannot wait to try this right here and that's what we're left with just a beautiful beautiful flesh leather leather this would actually make a really good bow grip not gonna lie put that on a bow outdoors the total picture living it loving it I gotta show you guys something cool. Look at this fish! Oh. Look at its teeth! Oh. It's got teeth like a rabbit. It does. <laughs> you wanna see me cold? Apparently you can catch jellyfish. I did not know this. Whoa, that's oh, weird. Okay. Yeah. Whoa, I see. You guys are holding jellyfish. That's weird. Yeah. What fish does that remind you of back home? What is it? Um, I just dropped some jellyfish on there. A red fish? Reminds <laughs> well, me of white bass. <laughs> it's like a red white bass. No, no, I can't mm, get the jellyfish well off. Those are spines. Those are sharp. Oh, no. Okay. So it's fine. So the vermilion snappers, they actually fillet up like butter compared to the trigger fish. And the meat looks extremely good just very soft um, it's buttery guys B buttery this now I think the snapper is gonna be amazing time to get to cooking we got some hungry campers at the beach y'all so I've got our mixture of the snappers and the trigger fish in, uh, in a zippy right now I put some local blackening seasoning in there along with some olive oil and I'm just mixing it around in the bag that's gonna go in the fridge so basically what we're gonna do put butter in skillet sear it 
We're gonna put a quarter stick of butter in here. Nice and buttery. Why, Dad? Why? Because we're gonna make them buttery and delicious, buddy. <gasps> okay. <laughs> right. yeah. Toddlers in the kitchen. And you're in my space. <laughs> Sorry, we're trying. We're trying to do dual. We're doing a lot of things at once, folks. So we got. We actually got a lot of fish. I have more to clean, actually. Um, my bucket's full. I gotta, I gotta do a run down to the beach, maybe save some shark bait. Trigger fish, going in. Oh, that's a great sound. They smell good already. Maybe it's the butter I'm smelling. Trigger fish, going in. Wow, those pick up like most of the pan. Whoa, those are huge. Put a couple of vermilion, vermilions on the side. Now that they're in the skillet, those spices, ooh, those are wafting, that's really nice. I'm gonna monitor this and I'm gonna cook these for a few minutes each side. Looks incredible, I need a spatula stat. Got it. Gonna tag team this big fish. Oh. Well, bam. Looks incredible. This fish looks amazing. We're gonna have the uh, the first couple plated in just a second, the vermilion snappers for everybody to taste. Flaking really good. That's what we want to see. Got that nice blackened look, texture. Caught fresh via LFD. Taste taste test. It looks so good. This is the vermilion, which came out first. Fresh that yeah, that's vermilion too. Yeah, that was, that was, that's hard. Oh my god, that's good. It's so moist. Wow. Yeah. That is cool. Alright, the vermilion is great. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the final spread. We got our trigger fish, our vermilions, a little bit of avocado. We have some, some freshly sliced corn off the cob via OSG, and we got watermelon. In the kitchen, it's OSG with your destined hat. <laughs> Beach girl, let me know what We're you think here. about those fresh caught fishes. Okay. You, got a, uh, you got a trigger fish. Mom got a snapper. She loves snapper. So. Presentation looks amazing before I even have a first bite. Okay. It smells it great. It really does. It looks light and beachy. Oh my gosh. Trigger fish on point. That's perfect. Really good. Very good. Oh we, my gosh. We ate at Beauchamp's last night. It was really daggum good. I don't know if it's going to compare to that. No, but. I think it definitely does. Uh, you're up there. Wow. I would say that this is honestly better than my Beauchamp's wow. fish. Wow. Well, I think some of the freshness has something to do with it. What do we got over here? Mm, it's good. Really good? Oh, it's awesome. That's all I get. Yeah, look. Well, look how pretty the... Mine just flakes perfectly. Mm -hmm. How wide it is. That's the key. The flaking is key. We got some delicious big jumbo golfies, too. Honestly, my, my taste like crab meat. It's so thick and flaky. Okay, well, like what you said, the trigger fish, maybe not the prettiest one. Wow. But could be really good, Dad. Let's get you haven't had the trigger fish yet. Uh, look how beautiful it is. Did you get trigger fish? I did. Oh, okay. I'm interested to hear your opinion because a little bit of lime juice, a little right. bit of lime zest. This okay. is like one of the best fish I've ever had. Oh my goodness. Okay. Right. My Beauchamp's fish, I will say, was a hair overcooked. All right. I well, I was gonna throw these in the oven, and the last no. second I just said this, that it's not. It's we don't not. need to do that. We don't need to do that. You know, the trigger fish is really ugly, <laughs> but that is really a good flavor. Awesome. Don't you think it's a thick? Yeah, it has a. When we were cooking nice it, it just texture. started flaking apart, which is always a nice thing to see in a fish. Oh, but that's really good. Great presentation. Mm. Great flakiness. Great tastes. I'm glad everyone has been satisfied. Oh, no.
LFD, yeah. catching them fresh. I am in. Look 30 at years and still going. There you go. Well, fishing freaks, the general consensus around the table was that was one of the best fish that we'd ever had as a family. Absolutely. Rated out of 10. Give it to me. An 8.9. That's really good, y'all. That's really, really fantastic. So I'll take that. I I gave the best pieces actually to the family, and I had two of the pieces that I, I like overcooked just a hair, got a little crusty. But the trigger fish, in my opinion, better. It's better than the snapper. You want them to see blue bear? All right. This is his blue bear. Oddly enough, I also had a blue bear when I was a kid. I had a blue bear and a chunky. So, a couple more years, buddy, you'll be joining us on the party boat, reeling them in. You think you're gonna be able to handle that? Blue bear. Blue bear. All right, we're gonna wave bye bye. Thank you guys for tuning in today to this catch and cook. Uh, this is kind of a special thing because I've been coming down to the Gulf since I was a kid. Um, just throwing rods in the sand, playing on the beach, going out on these party boats. Uh, and it was really cool to go out on, uh, on the party boat today. Uh, the, the Swoop 2, the Swoop 2 down here in Destin and, and go out and bring back some of those memories and enjoy the taste of the Gulf. So smash that like button and I will see you guys on another outdoor adventure soon. All right, Emmy wants to say something too. Well, bam. When I was two years old and I was here, I was scared of the wave, but now when I'm almost six years old and I'm five years old, I'm not scared. And you love the waves. And I caught lots and lots of jellyfish today. You did, you always gotta tell everybody about your catch. That's the number one rule in fishing. You gotta, you gotta let them know about everything you catch. Sometimes everything you don't even catch too, the ones that got away.